today's video we're going to be talking about the buoyage system, marks that you might find out of the water. They're a little bit like signposts on the road. So markers and buoyage to us sailors um, are very useful in terms of being able to navigate correctly, they're used as reference points, uh, and very importantly they tell us where to go and sometimes where not to go. We're going to be going through quite a bit of terminology um, as well as showing you what these marks might look like on the charts, the electronic means of navigation, and more importantly and most importantly what these marks mean to us. Marine voyage markers and navigational aids used to guide yachts and other marine traffic safely through waterways, estuaries and marinas can often be seen along the coastlines. These markers are crucial for maintaining safe navigation, especially in areas with hazards such as shallow waters, submerged rocks or navigational channels. They come in various shapes, sizes and colours and each serving a specific purpose. Let's start by looking at hazard markers such as the cardinal and isolated danger markers. The cardinal mark indicates one of the four compass directions in three ways. Firstly, the direction of its two conical top marks, which can either both point up, down, inwards or outwards, indicating north, south, east and west. For the south cardinal, the cones will point to the south showing that traffic should stay south of the mark. The light characteristics will be six white flashes plus one long flash. For the east cardinal, the cones will point outwards, looking a little like an egg, E for egg or east, prompting us to remember to stay east of the mark. The light characteristic is three white flashes. The cones on the North Cardinal point upwards, reminding traffic to stay north. White flashing is continuous. West Cardinal flashes nine white flashes, with cones pointing inwards, looking a little like a wine glass, W for wine, or west. We therefore must stay west of the mark. The isolated danger mark tells us exactly where the danger is and it is up to us to navigate around the danger. Black, red, black in colour, with two black balls on top. This very useful marker will often be placed on a rock, shoals or sandbanks. Its distinctive two white flashes remind us to keep away. It always pays to check for any navigational hazards or depth changes to make sure that there is sufficient water for our passage. Now we move on to lateral marks, otherwise known as channel markers. Lateral marks show the port and starboard sides of navigable waters or channels. There are, however, for historical reasons, two different schemes in use worldwide, differing in their use of the lateral mark's colour as shown here. Although the shape remains the same, the colour switches between the zones. Red becomes green, and green becomes red. Regardless of the region, each mark indicates the edge of the safe water channel in terms of port and starboard. These directions are relative to the direction of voyage. This is usually an upstream direction. A vessel heading in the direction of voyage should keep port marks to its port side and keep starboard marks to its starboard side. The direction of voyage can be seen on the chart by identifying the direction of voyage symbol, as shown here. A preferred channel marker is used when there are two navigable channels available, indicating which is the preferred channel. The middle color indicates which side the preferred channel lies. This will usually be although not always, the deeper channel. For example, if the middle colour is red, then the preferred channel lies to port of the marker. If the middle colour is green, then the preferred channel lies to starboard. These markers are often larger in size and can be very useful when entering a harbour for the first time. Special marks. A special mark is recognisable by its yellow colour and X top mark. 
It has a distinctive sequence of various flashes that does not match any other navigable mark flashes in the vicinity. The special mark can indicate either an anchorage area, mooring areas, marine farms, submarine cables and much more. Safe watermark. A safe watermark is used to indicate the beginning or end of a channel. When leaving a channel, they usually imply that open, deep and safe water lies ahead. An emergency wreck buoy is used to warn of a new wreck which has not yet been listed in maritime documents. After that time, a more permanent buoy should be deployed and charts updated. We hope you found this video useful, happy sailing!